This is Remington as a puppy when he was a birthday gift to Aaron Webster's wife. Tiny, he says, but mighty. He was standing at the back door and had a snake in his mouth, and I was like, that Good guy, dog. <laughs> he's, you know, he's little, but he's tough. Two months later, Remington no, never returned from a bathroom break in a fenced yard. It was a mystery until Webster got a call that he'd been found. A stray on a Fort Worth street taken in by a rescue there called Saving Hope. Remington's microchip made the reunion possible nearly 14 years later. Incredible. That's really the only word that comes to mind. It was warm fuzzies. You were, I mean, we cried, definitely. All of us shed a tear, at least just of joy. Well, he's really sweet. I mean, His road home was long. Yeah, he probably know, had a few around. different owners, but go. the last few years weren't kind. He had been neglected and abused and, you know, very skittish and, um, you know, just in really bad shape. That's starting to change. He's been groomed, wants to be close to his family. He's older than the Webster's three young boys who adore him. And he shares space with their other dog. Remington moves slowly. He's blind and missing teeth, but he's resilient. He loves to be outside, plays around in the yard and, uh, you know, He's getting his strength back and certainly his personality. The family that chose him as a puppy will now care for him in his final years. Love for a little dog, still small, but mighty enough to survive, and finally back where he began. It would be great if he could tell us his story and, um, you know, because it's just everyone's scratching their heads going, you know, how, how did he get from here to here?